Hello, thanks for taking the time to watch this short video. In this tutorial, you'll receive an overview of the Concord Web Portal, which allows you simple reporting and access to the faxes you have sent and received. Typically, users of the Concord system send and receive faxes by email. There are more video tutorials about that experience at concordfax.com forward slash video. Users can log into the web portal through the link at the top right hand corner of the Concord Fax website. After logging in, you'll be presented with your user dashboard. Here you can see a graph of your inbound and outbound activity. You can search your activity by date here and display the results by hour, day, and month. Additionally, you can filter by outbound only or inbound only. This graph becomes insightful if you are looking for trends or patterns. Below you'll see an interactive map of your top outbound destinations. You can zoom in and hover over a pinpoint to see the specific area and number of pages sent. Additionally, my top destinations are listed in this chart here. For user accounts, the Report tab offers two different options, Outbound Activity and Inbound Activity. Let's take a look at Outbound Activity. Under Outbound Activity, I can search my transmissions in up to 31 day increments for the past 90 days. I choose my date here and click Search. Additionally, I can refine these results by adding a subfilter to my search. I choose that here. My options are to filter by sending email, fax number, reference ID, country code, and batch ID. Now if I was transmitting documents and using a reference ID to help associate them with a case, customer, or patient, I can filter those results right here. I'm going to do that in this example. I choose reference ID and enter in the specific reference ID I want to search for in the search field. Once I have that filter entered, I hit search and I'm displayed with my refined results. I can click on any specific job and view details of the fax, including information about the sender, receiver, and fax itself. The View tab allows me to see an image of the document sent, and the Resend option allows me to requeue the fax for delivery to the number I originally sent it to, or a new number that I would type in here. The Inbound Activity section of the portal offers similar features. I can enter in my date range here and click Search, and additionally I could refine my results by fax number, caller, or country code of the caller ID or fax number itself. I would enter in the details of my subfilter here and refine the results by hitting search. I can click on a specific fax and see details about the transmission and I could also requeue the document for inbound delivery. Up in the top right hand corner of the portal you'll see a settings cog icon here. By clicking on that I'll be taken to my user account setting page. Depending on how your company account is configured you may be allowed to edit these settings in this area or they may be set on mandatory default settings. This first tab here titled user displays information about me including my name and company address and phone number. The fax tab shows me my fax number, my email for sending, and my email for inbound delivery. Under the cover page tab I can choose my cover page settings. For more information about our cover page settings check out the cover page guide or video on the Concord Fax website. The notifications tab is where I can choose to be notified by email about the queuing and delivery of my faxes. And the date tab is where I can set my time zone. And that is the web portal experience for Concord Fax user accounts. You can find more video tutorials at concordfax.com forward slash video.